reaching on your phone, watching YouTube, and your life's passing you by. You keep procrastinating over and over, thinking, maybe I'll learn how to highlight and contour tomorrow. Maybe I'll learn how to highlight and contour next week. Maybe I'll learn how to highlight and contour next year. No, do it now. That's why I'm here. I can teach you. I've been learning how to highlight and contour for about two whole months, doing the same thing that you're doing, sitting on YouTube. So we in this together, girl. I understand you. I'm a beginner too. Keep watching this video and you'll learn how. To highlight and contour, you're gonna need three basic things. You're gonna need something that is lighter than you, maybe by a shade or two to a stretch in it, depending on how, you know, bold you wanna look. And you're also gonna need something that is darker than you. And you're going to need something to blend it out, whether that be a sponge or a brush. To start, you're going to want to put on some foundation and use that as your base. I already went ahead and put on my foundation. Um, you don't have to use foundation. Sometimes people do highlight and contour before they put on their foundation. But for me, I like to put it on as my base and then I just like to work on top of that. Then you are going to want to use your lighter shade to highlight like the T areas. That's what I call it, the T areas of your face. What you need to do really is to look at yourself. I know that sounds simple, but you really need to look at your face and look at the places that are like lighter. Typically that's like under the eyes, um, your nose line, a little bit between the brows and it could be on top of your lip or your chin um yeah those are the places that you want to want to highlight and then for the contour it's going to be mainly around the perimeter of your face so you know above your forehead on the side if you look sometimes you can i'm not sure about how great my lighting is but it's a little bit lighter up here and then I get a little darker right here. Sometimes people even contour down here. It just depends on the kind of look that you're going for, but that's the gist of it. You want to highlight the parts of your face that are lighter and then you want to contour the perimeter of your face. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer Shade Amad. And it has an applicator that looks like this, so I'll just go right under my eye. And I am not a professional, like, at all. I just practice. And I think that that's the best thing that you can do is practice and figure out what works for you. Um... For me, I know that I like to look awake. So my highlight under my eyes, it needs to be on point. And then I hit my chin area. That little part in my lip right there. I like to hit that area and also right in between my brows. I like to make my little T, my little T zone. Now, some people, they go in, they do the extras, you know, the middle line, they be doing all types of stuff, but this is just the basics like we we're talking for beginners like me and you we are talking regular people we're not we're not here to you know photogram it and then i'm going to take my black opal foundation stick and i like to contour like i said around the perimeter of the face and sometimes if you do your highlight first you can kind of see where you need to contour so I contour um, typically like right here. You don't know where to hit that line. You want to do it between like, I guess you could say your sideburn 
to the outer corner of your eye you don't need that much because you can blend that all out and then if you really don't know where to put it you gotta purse your lips a little bit like wherever your jawline is you kind of want to get that right under where your cheek goes up so it's about there same thing on the other side. I always have trouble like matching them up. So sometimes one will be like a little up and the other one will be down. But you know, practice makes perfect and eventually, you know, I'll be on the level where that doesn't even bother me or that's not a problem. Okay. And then normally I go right by my eye. And then you gotta get the forehead. For some reason, it like really condenses the forehead. Also, another tip is you wanna let your highlight really set and dry. When it dries, you get like full coverage. Like I'm not playing. Like at first, I don't know how. I'm gonna try something new today. I have a Real Technique contour brush. So I'm going to be blending out my contour with this brush and we'll see how i like it normally i use a sponge so we'll see and you want to be brushing upward to blend that contour setting powder like this is how you get that whoa that whoa look i forgot i i'm so sorry i, I really am please forgive me i feel like i'm having an off day but look at, i'm dropping stuff like knocking stuff over guys i don't know what's going on with me today just pray for me please do but yes you definitely need to set your highlight as soon as you finish blending it out set it immediately so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do and you can leave excess if you want to that's a part of baking oh wait hold on baking there we go but sometimes i will sometimes i won't today i'm definitely going to because i'm having an off day and I need to bake. That usually makes me feel better. 
and you can tap off any excess. You usually lose powder tap a lot of excess. And in those same areas that you highlighted, you want to bake. You want to bake. You definitely want to bake. I have a lot on my hands. I told you guys I'm having an off day. Dropping stuff again. See, I told you. I don't know. Okay, so I dusted off a little bit of my excess and now I'm just gonna let that sit for a bit and bake. When you start highlighting and contouring, please go into it with the open mind. Don't go into it with the mindset like, I have to look like Kim Kardashian. Like, if I don't do it like Kim, it's not gonna be right. Like, no, it's okay if you do it like you. Like, practice, practice, practice. I'm still practicing and I'm gonna keep practicing because I wanna get better. And that's the only way I'm gonna get better is if I practice. Also, bling, bling, bling. The really the key is blinking out whatever you use. And it doesn't matter it, whether you use foundation, whether you use concealer, whether it's powder. Well, I was probably really highlighting contour powder. For me, it doesn't work for me, but some people even use powders, creams, it doesn't matter what you use. Just remember that you wanna highlight with something that's lighter than you, maybe like a shade or two, and you wanna contour with something that's darker than you. So. And don't forget to bake, cause you gotta bake. Like I'm telling you, once I dust this off, you gonna be like, okay. I see what you mean and even if you don't see what I mean that's okay too like you're learning I don't expect you to know what I'm talking about until you start doing it. so now I'm gonna go ahead and just dust off any excess with my Kabuki brush this is the elf brush by the way it was only like three dollars at Walmart so make sure you get one of these because it's like super important and after we dust off our excess, we are all set. I think that's better. All right, you guys, this was my basic, basic, basic highlighting contour with you guys for beginners like me and you i'm gonna go get my life somewhere because today is it's night thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video